you see money all around me, I look like I'm the man. Baby, come give me something on. Oh. guys so right now I'm getting ready to go to the gym yes go to the gym I've been going uh, this will be my third day um the gym scares the shit out of me but I'm doing it so that's a good thing right um, I'm just really proud of myself for getting up and actually going because I have been tired I have been having a lot of stuff to do but I've been making sure I take an hour out of my day every other day to get my booty in the gym. I'm still on my journey to VSG, but in the meantime, in between time, because you know it takes at least six months, because I know after I get, get VSG, I still will have to work out consistently and diet, so I'm trying to get into the good habits right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to have great habits right now so that's basically what I've been doing. I do have a membership with LA Fitness and it's cool. I mean, um, I think eventually I'm gonna get a trainer. I don't feel like I necessarily know how to work out per se. And I feel like I need the help to do, you know, exactly what I need for my body type. So, um, so far I've just been doing like the Stairmaster and treadmill and I did some squats and I did a, um, like a, a leg machine I, I don't remember the name of it but it's like when you kind of like press with your legs so my legs still kind of feel like my legs still basically feel like jello you guys like legit jello they are so sore still but i'm gonna push through i'm gonna get this work out done now one thing i can say is i have a fear of the gym i have a fear of people looking at me or probably saying like oh she doesn't know what she's doing blah 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 but I'm just looking at it like this I mean they gonna look anyway people gonna talk about you anyway so why not get up and get moving whether you're doing it right or wrong the key is to get up and get and get moving and eventually you'll learn what you're doing you'll figure everything out I'm going by myself because uh Ricky he he kind of you know just like me he really don't like the gym like that I could see myself eventually starting to work out at home once I get myself in the routine of oh I need to work out every other day and then gradually every day um but yeah he's not into the gym saying he doesn't like that shit oh my god you guys I was so pissed power didn't come on this week like it literally hurt my spirit and soul I just couldn't believe that they decided to you know push it up a week so what what else came on this week oh yeah insecure came on that's what was so good insecure was so lit one of the main things I want to talk about um what episode was this I think it was episode six or seven I'm not too sure but um I want to talk about the dynamic between Molly and Dro now I I still really like Dro. I really like them together. But I feel like Molly is gonna get hurt because I feel like she's becoming in too deep for him. And I think he really likes Molly, but Dro is still, you know, very much committed to his wife. And he showed that in this episode. He showed that, you know, whenever she called, I'm gonna jump. So basically, I love you, girl, but you ain't wifey. And I guess that, you know, it kind of had Molly shook. Like, I would be shook. I would honestly be shook. And after seeing that whole little scene, I feel like she should probably dead in this whole little sexual relationship she has going with Dro. Because she's not gonna, she's not gonna do nothing but get hurt, y'all. She's gonna get so hurt and it's gonna be tragic. People all up in the motherfucking street. Oh my God. And then arrive at your destination. Girl, that's not going nowhere i can see it i hope she see it it's just it's not going anywhere anywhere i just got to the gym now you guys i feel like molly kind of learned her lesson though because Dro basically chose his wife and that let her know her place i was watching it i thought when his wife called i thought he was gonna say fuck her i had this whole fantasy facade story going on in my head like Oh, he's going to eventually be with Molly. Him and his wife are going to get divorced. And they're going to have a normal monogamous relationship. Like, that's what I thought was going to happen. But as you can see, Dro loves his wife and he loves his side pieces. So, that's how it's going to stay. Now, as far as uh, Issa 
and daniel oh my god you guys that whole scene that whole thing was so extra to me i feel like isa wanted daniel around her finger so she was like oh, okay i'm gonna give him head but she didn't know what all comes with giving head or oral sex whatever you want to call it um i do feel like daniel should have like probably told her i'm finna come i don't remember if he said he was i'm finna come or not but girl when you hear those words you have to <laughs> move that motherfucker out of your face like you don't stay down there when he say i'm finna come no you you have to move it the opposite way if you don't you know like facials you have to move the pain like you can't just <sighs> sometimes men can't control it i just feel like she blew up a little bit too much i understand she ain't like it, it was nasty but she blew up too much y'all like come on girl you ain't have to blow up like that i would have i would have been like get off of me i would have wiped off my face and then i would have been mad but i wouldn't like blew up and left and called him a jerk and this and that you should have never been giving him head if you was worried about uh him busting on you or y'all should have talked about that but you should have said before you start you should have been like don't don't come on me don't do it that's all she had to say and he would have probably like pushed her or told her or moved her or something um before he did it but oh my god the way he he got all into it i'm thinking like damn daniel she not really even dom daniel <laughs> i'm thinking like she not even really doing nothing like that and you're all into her giving you top like you must never get top like that's how it looked to me and lawrence lawrence um he digging his little co-worker that shit was too funny as well the way those i guess those his bosses like they were shading him they were shading him so hard talking about his jordans like that was shady and i knew it was shady when they asked like what are those called again bitch you know what they are you know what they're called you're trying to be fucking shady lawrence and gonna end up quitting that job i promise y'all he gonna end up quitting and he's gonna end up smashing their co-worker because he likes her and she likes him you know i'm here for it. i basically don't want lawrence and, and Issa back together because Lawrence just seems so he seems so corny to me now I don't know I just don't I don't like him anymore like that I'm getting ready to go in this gym let me get my little bag Ricky is gonna kill me y'all because my fucking water my water spilled out all over the car and Ricky gonna be like what the fuck so I guess it's everything oh yeah I need to connect my headphones to my phone because I have to have music I should have made me a playlist before uh going in but i listen to whatever it's you know it's cool i'm sure the title has some type of playlist already on there do y'all want me to take the camera in the gym with me and like kind of show y'all a little bit of, woo, of what i'm doing like i don't mind doing that um i might be a little nervous based off you know how people might look at me but i, I, I don't give a fuck Okay, guys, so I'm walking in now. Ooh, it's kind of cold out here. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Looking for a real one, you found it. Got a funny king, we gon' go bounce on it. No doubt, yeah. Leave your legs shaking. I might sing to that pussy like la da da dee da. Girl, your shit so classic, it don't need no features Ooh, yeah. Baby, come give me something on <sighs> So I just left out the gym And tired is not the word Like, I'm so tired <sighs> I was only in there about 45 minutes I couldn't I couldn't do like an hour, hour and a half today because I'm just so fucking sore. I'm never wearing a hoodie again to the gym. Um, oh, I can't even think. I'm so tired. And I really love this boy brow stuff. My eyebrows didn't even come off. I'm surprised my eyelashes didn't sweat off because I'm so tired. I didn't do, I didn't do no foundation, but I gotta come out with at least my eyebrows and eyelashes on because I look crazy. I really feel like I need a trainer, you guys, because I don't know. I just feel like I can't push myself. Like, now that I've had a little break, I feel like I can go back in and do like 20 more minutes. 
else but i'm not even i'm oh, i'm not gonna go back in oh i'm so wet Ugh, it's so nasty i'm so not used to feeling that uh i put a little clip of me on the um the stairmaster um all i did was a stairmaster and the, um the rowing machine i didn't set up the camera over there because it was just too many people and i felt weird so yeah that's the that's another thing i feel so weird in like the public gyms like i feel like i need to go to a smaller gym than la fitness la fitness kind of it makes me a little uncomfortable but i'm gonna keep pushing myself and going i feel like the other day was i had got a better workout than today i feel like i'm just still so tired but i'm starting off um three days a week and then gradually to four then five and then six i hope i can do six <laughs> i don't even remember what i said about um about uh what was it insecure i don't even remember what i was saying but shit let me get back i'm gonna go on home to listen to me some music i don't know what i want to listen to though and I'm gonna reach over and open your door. Come for dinner, take me to see a movie. And what's put in my head up that you really wanna do me? Girl, now take me home and get up in my bed. Pour me up a shot and force me to the bed. I'm always on the side. that shit um <clears throat> the jeffree star shit and kim kardashian i mm, yeah i really don't have a whole lot to say about that because i'm not i'm not a supporter of his um i'm just lately in my life i don't i have no tolerance for racism colorism just people like that anybody that you know has something racist to say I'm just not here for anybody that has an issue with black people grading a black woman like what the fuck I feel like Kim Kardashian is so dumb for taking up for him but it's Kim Kardashian you guys I really don't expect Kim to cape for black women because she's not a black woman even though she has half black children I'm pretty sure she doesn't look at those kids like oh these are my little black kids she thinks of them as all oh, my little Armenian kids even though you can clearly look at her children and tell they are biracial and Kanye's jeans are strong as shit like those kids damn near look black you know basically you know it is what it is like I don't expect nothing from none of these people what hurts me more is when I see black people black women black men degrading other um black people black people in general need to stop being so sad and butthurt when one of these people are racist they racist okay move along accordingly and that's that's pretty much all i have to say about the situation like move along accordingly don't i mean don't fuck with him if you feel a way about him don't fuck with her don't buy those whack ass but you know the house said the whack ass makeup i honestly want to review the makeup but i'm not i don't know about spending my coin on it so <laughs> i will talk to you guys next car chat I can tell you ain't from round it. All that body, baby, it's not fair. Pull up on that ass in a